Well, greetings everybody. Welcome to our King's channel. Today what I'd like to bring out is something that's a little bit biblical. In fact, it's a whole lot biblical, but it's also the answer to clean energy around the world that you need no fuel, you know, to even operate. So it's all basically, once the equipment is paid for, just like you see back here, this Pelton wheel, that's right over here behind these two gentlemen. And I've got something to show you that I hope with even common sense you'd be able to understand that our Heavenly Father through His righteous Son actually did give to me understanding enough to be able to show the entire earth how they could have much more dependable electricity without these ugly electric lines cluttering up the countryside causing potential damage, you know, as in wildfires and such. If, you know, earthquakes or something occurred and split the ground and the cable popped and fell into some debris to start fires, you know, which do take place or any other thing. Somebody smashes their car into one and it, it severs the pole and breaks lines or whatever. We always have these sorts of perils going on with these extended power lines going everywhere. Wherein I've got a plan that I want to show you, and of course, it seems like views fell off from our King's channel because I announced my running for the presidency of the United States. And you can see here that since this channel was created, L. Unai Hawkins for president, three days ago there were nine views on this video which I don't even know if it should have been posted on the President's channel, just on our King's channel. This one probably should have been posted. And it's got the most views. Then I bring out a, to help all the world, you know, the whole earth. And it had six views two days ago, since two days ago, and then 18 hours ago, as you can see, I'll refresh this. Two views 18 hours ago where I show another campaign goal that would bring forth world peace and less hunger too, with farmers rejoicing. Then it's got two views, so you can see Satan doesn't like the idea of my committing myself for the run of the presidency, which will be conducted right from here. But this isn't what I want to speak about. What I want to speak about is an ox in the ditch because this is the Sabbath. However, we cannot delay on these things. And if I am elected president of the United States and China hears the words that I'm speaking and they start doing so, does not mean I've collaborated with the Chinese in any way, fashion, or form other than for survival purposes. And hopefully that they'll look a little better upon us with this information coming from the United States of America to where they can help their fellow countrymen to help other people the same way in Africa, in the Philippines, and any place else. The information I'm going to bring forth could help you if you just heed to my voice. And as you can see, very few are desiring to do so. Even on our King's channel, I'll refresh. And as you can see, you know, two days ago, I had posted this video, which is also on my new presidential one. So you got nine views showing there and 15 views on our King's channel. So that's 24 views. But you can see the views that are taking place here on our King's regular channel, as well as the Ellie and I Hawkins for President channel and Timothy P's channel as well. These views are all we get when we can actually answer the world's problems. Now here in Genesis 1, this is spoke against in the United States. They had abortion clinics open and everything, trying to tell people that we have too many people. Not letting the population know that it's more for satanic rites, you know, <laughs> and sacrifice. But our Heavenly Father, here in Genesis 1, chapter 28, said, Then Yahweh blessed them, talking to Adam and Eve, and Yahweh said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Now that sounds like a generous father to me. But then the children of the world, you know, not the children of Father Yahweh, but the children of the world started doing their sins, and it got so bad that if our father didn't bring forth the flood, we wouldn't be having this conversation today. 
Verse 29 of Genesis 1 says, And Yahweh said, See, I have given you every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of all the earth, and every tree whose fruit yields seed, to you it shall be for food. Now there are some remnants left over from before the flood, and even after the flood, where our Heavenly Father was telling the children in the wilderness to wipe out entire nations or tribes, to even kill the animals, to cut down the trees and the vegetation even, and to burn it. But some of it, as you can see, has actually escaped and is yet on the earth such as these beech apples, and this comes from the most dangerous trees you should never touch by Mindboggler, and it was put out today, September 3rd, 2022. Very interesting show, and if you keep in mind with the seeds that you see and such, our Heavenly Father said that all these trees that produced fruit with seeds was for food for us, well, you could see with the tampering, the GMO processing, that was way back there before David's day, King David's, that her father was having these genetically modified foods, the mixing of the seeds wiped out, along with beings that were also created part human and either part fallen holy malik or watcher or wicked and evil spirit whatever name you want to put on it, combining with the human being and bringing forth offspring that were unholy, our Father wanted them wiped out. The same thing they were doing with animals is going on today, but people can't see this. Point being, our Father said that every tree whose fruit yields seed to you it shall be for food. And yet, as a big contradiction, there are these foods, these fruits from trees and they have seed but if you eat it it'll most likely kill you or really make a desire to have never seen the tree before in your life and also we were told to be fruitful and multiply to fill the earth and subdue it and it doesn't necessarily mean you know all the coal to be mined out and all the oil pulled out and everything you know when we can have clean energy but those that want to bring these things forth, please understand, I am not suicidal. My faith does not allow me to murder myself. So if I disappear, because I'm not going to go out there in the populace, as you know, those who come to our King's Channel, I'm a hermit or almost a true recluse. I hate to leave my house because of the uncleanness that's out there, the defilements. But I know we're going to be gathered to a place that's not going to have those things, and we won't allow them defilements into it. That's a time off. But until then, we were still told to be fruitful and multiply. There's nowhere in there it says to have brought forth abortions, and we were to fill the earth and subdue it. But how? There's a lot of places out there that are just desert and everything. Well, our Father said, if you will humble yourselves and pray... He'll heal our lands. He will heal us. He knew that with the abominations that the earth, the world has been creating here, out of Monsanto and such, the GMO foods and the poisons that the FDA allows in our foods and promotes to put in there, they should have never been in there. If these things weren't found in Grandma's cabinet, they shouldn't be in the food, my friends. But anyway, let's get to the point of this video that I do want to keep short because my arm has been killing me and editing is really a tough job. But as you can see behind this fellow, the Pelton Wheel, I do encourage you all to go ahead and take a look at this video. It's entitled, What's Inside the Hoover Dam? by the channel, What's Inside? And this was posted on October 21st, 2018. It's got over 2 million views, so I'm sure there's at least 2 million people on the earth today. Maybe, well, there's a bunch probably died since 2018, but the Jabberwocky hasn't taken everybody yet. So let's say 2, 000, two, so let's say two million people out there have a general idea of what I'm bringing up. Please take a look at this. Now remember that, and let's concentrate on how. Please do watch the video, because it'll show you that up here, the way that these paddles here are shaped, 
a high pressure of water spins this wheel, which turns magnets. They generate electricity. And as you've seen in the simple plan that was there, okay, whichever side it was on this, and I'll post the picture at the end of this video as well. But there are many people out there already familiar with the Pelton wheel. This is a smaller wheel. And as you can see down here, the bottom is a jet, which is sort of like the end of a hose for a fireman. You ever seen the videos where they'll turn on the water and they'll fly up in the air because of the pressure? Well, in the system that I showed there, which is fully enclosed basically, except for a reservoir, that this big pump, they've got them down there in Louisiana to keep New Orleans dry, okay? And they'll pump out the seawater that comes in pretty quickly. But you use one of those pumps, and either way that the water flows, what takes place is you use one of the generators to make enough juice to keep this battery pack over here charged enough to run that big pump and of course there'd be some sort of electrical devices up here switches inverters whatever capacitors i don't know how it would work but of course you don't want full power from a generator to go right to the battery because it would probably explode it you know or explode the pack so you have to have something that would only put enough charge on the battery just like in your vehicle but the rest of the electricity that's not needed from this generator to keep that battery pack charged that runs the generator. And of course, once it starts, then the electric from this generator will directly through this, however, keep the pump going so it's not even a drain on the battery. The battery's only there in case there's a generator burnout or one of the Pelton wheels or something breaking loose, something of that sort that would cause this to have to shut down. Well, they could do the repairs and without any other electrical source but that battery pack, they could start that big pump going and as soon as the water starts going through that generator, it will create enough electricity to run the big pump and extra to send off to the electric station. Where in all these other generators on here, each one is sending all their power down here to this electric generator station. So as you can see, this could be set up in a city or next to a city where they could have a reservoir. And even in a reservoir, a big enough reservoir, they could raise fish, putting hundreds of greenhouses around these facilities. The fish, they could be used for consumption for the people as well as the vegetation that these reservoirs using the electric from that electric generating station would put water out to all those greenhouses where the fertilizer would be the poop from the fish in the reservoir it could be set up by lakes even by oceans okay or there's a way, I'm sure, that you could enclose this system to where there isn't any evaporation out of it. And unless you have to tear it apart to do a repair, no water would be lost from it. So it would not need more water than what it takes to fill the lines and a reservoir that would collect all the water coming off the wheels. Can you see what I'm saying? In simplicity... Every city, every town can have these reliable generators in place of the coal, in place of the oil burners, or any of these other things. It's clean energy, almost perpetual, and yet it takes a guy like me listening to our Heavenly Father through His righteous Son to be able to bring forth these ideas. Now, why haven't the engineers and everything else, you know, the president of the united states or china or japan or any of these other countries how come these colleges and such haven't come up with these ideas at least i've not seen these ideas this just came to me and please remember i'm not suicidal so but this was given to me to give to the world to let you see hey you should vote for me for president 
And the other electric device I was speaking of works in a similar manner, except it doesn't use water to produce it. And it could be pretty light and be able to generate electricity enough for small communities or even convert it into larger things, just like you see right here, you know, with the Pelton wheel. This is a small version, as you can see up here, for $92.99 and $8 delivery. So for 100 bucks, you could get a little Pelton wheel hooked up in an enclosed system that, you know, even maybe a 50-gallon drum would suffice where you'd have one electric pump that would produce enough pressure to spin that Pelton wheel fast enough to generate enough electricity to power a house and of course in case of repair you know to keep the, a battery or a battery pack whatever it is that would take to power that big pump and it could probably be just a pump that you get out of a little fish pond or something you could put in your backyard to power a waterfall to where it'll put down enough pressure to spin this Pelton wheel which will produce enough energy to keep the battery pack here full and of course this battery pack could also be used in powering your house as it would be charged by the generator that the Pelton wheel is hooked to and all the energy that's not used to pump the water to spin that wheel could easily all be enclosed you know so that you don't lose water and you don't need a fast running stream or anything like that and these are just ideas, okay, that when you're not greedy or anything and you're just looking for the benefit of mankind, which I'm doing, that's why I'm running for the presidency of the United States, and I'm not asking for donations, you don't see that on any of these channels that I've been led to bring forth, you know, these things are all for free, these ideas that the smartest people on the earth today haven't come up with, and I tell you the truth, I'm not smart enough to have these ideas if it wasn't for the one that I reverence and that I am an ambassador for here on this earth. I'd have never been able to come up with that or the other things that you can already see on the Alien Eye for President channel for free. And yet nobody wants to hear it. <laughs> and that's all right. Because when time comes, there's not a soul that can say, well, I didn't try to warn y'all. I didn't take the problem, the lemons, try to turn it into lemonade, but it couldn't get nobody to drink. Except for the few, the few that come here and that actually love me because we love each other. The love, of course, being the keeping of the laws and commandments toward each other. And with that love, I love you too. And I don't want to see you perish because of an electric outage. When every city and every town can be producing their own electric, and of course that idea alone could cause somebody that don't like losing money from their electric companies or the monopoly, because our government owns a great percentage in these electric companies, all combined, as I explained in a video earlier on the Alien Eye for President channel, that I hope to take a look at too. So with that, I love y'all. Let's pray, you know, that somebody hears what I'm saying that loves this country enough or loves their country enough to check into what I just told y'all and see if it is an evidence that we could sure cut down fuel costs and everything, or I should say electric costs, and have enough electricity to be able to even recharge the Teslas and the other electric vehicles that people are buying up and then realizing, oh, but we don't have facilities to charge. Well, you could take this Pelton wheel here with the system I'll show you right there again. And as you see, an enclosed system such as that could do enough power. Of course, it'd have to probably have a, to charge many, many Teslas and other electric vehicles without even being hooked up to the grid. Operating totally for free once the materials have been paid for, you know, the Pelton wheel for $100, the electric pump and the pipe, and maybe a 55-gallon or 100-gallon tank to keep the constant supply of water to the Pelton wheel. Now, who can hear that? If you can, please pass it on. And again, 
It's against my faith to commit suicide. I love y'all. Bye.